Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Hope you're all doing great. So, you guys voted for Fallow Deer on the uh, YouTube poll, eh? I guess we're hunting Fallow Deer today. I guess we're gonna go for some Fallow Deer. Let's pop over to Tiawaroa, see if we can add some kills to our kill count for this Great One grind, and hopefully get ourselves a Great One Fallow Deer. Hope everybody's off to uh, a pretty good start to their day. Or uh, end to their day if you're uh, if you're in a different time zone. Hope everybody's doing amazing. Go! Thank you for the eight months as a member. Holy crap! Eight months as a member, man. Thank you. Much appreciated, my dude. That's crazy. How's everybody doing? What's up, Zacky? What's up, Zygerts? Hunter Pro, Zombie, Zombie Bro. How's everybody doing? What's up, Johnny, Tony, Jake, Blaine, Nathan, Laura, the Goat. Platinum, Clayton, Rock Chalk, Brantley, uh, Blue Gamer. Holy crap, everybody's here. Sorry that I'm not able to go through and name off everybody, but I hope you're all having a great, great day. Let's start the day off right by smoking a fallow out of this zone. RIP, buddy. That will be the end of you. We're at 416 kills on this particular grind, so hopefully we're going to be getting our... Great one fallow soon. Our average for these grinds is usually around the like four to five hundred mark. Aside from like a few that have been around two thousand. But hopefully we'll break that bad luck streak of those grinds being like fifteen hundred to twenty three hundred, because we did have quite a few of those for a while. Hopefully today will be Oh, oh, oh whoa, dude. He, he he's dodging bullets. Already we're having some deer just dodging bullets like weirdos. Come on, man. Um, how about kangaroos? Uh, Sweatbox, how about kangaroos? Because those things are a lot of fun. Uh, there is no level 2 diamond racks for, uh... For fallow deer, no. Unless you're talking about whitetail. If you're talking about whitetail, yes. Ooh, that's not good, Tasca. Yeah, the 300 oh AR, goodness, dude. It's, it's gonna be so good. Uh, Goat, thank you for the super chat, man. Much appreciated. Thank you so much, Goat. Really appreciate that. That's a cool... Look no joke, for a second I thought that was a blade rack. Like, no joke. For a second I looked at that and I was like, oh, is that a blade rack? <laughs> nah, not a blade rack. I just realized my chat stopped. I gotta refresh it. Let's go to live chat. There we go. Now it's moving again. Typical YouTube being weird. Dude, no joke. I thought that was... A blade rack. Great one for a second. I was like, oh my gosh, already. But no, no, it's not. Sawyer, thank you for the super chat, man. Really appreciate it, my dude. Uh, are, uh, <laughs> None of these are vitals. Oh no. Scarecrow lost his touch. Well, that brings us up to uh, 420 kills on the grind. Let's go. Uh, yeah, hi, Def. This is a new microphone. Well, it's not like super new anymore. I got it a couple weeks ago. Started using it in my videos and streams like probably a week and a half ago, maybe. So I've been using it for a little bit now. I'm pretty sure you've been in streams uh, since I changed over. Yeah, the 300 AR is going to be nasty, man. It's going to be... Oh, that's a diamond. What? No wonder it looked like a blade rack great one for a second. It's the, it's the big version of this rack. This is the big boy. First diamond of the day. Holy. Yeah, true. You no longer will have to buy Yukon just to get a 300 Magnum. Because this new DLC is going to have... A semi-automatic one. It's going to be insane. If for real did look like a blade rack, that's oh, what I'm saying, man. Yes, oh Tricked me for a second. Just got a white tail great one. Let's go, Laura. How are dimes cool for Crow? Because I don't let the HM ruin the excitement of them. Unlike some people. But hey, everybody's entitled to feel how they feel about it, you know? 
But me personally, I'm not going to let it ruin the way I view my trophies. It's all about your perception on it. It's all about you, how you perceive the trophies in the game. On Wednesday, I got my first diamond. It was a Rocky Mountain Elk. Let's go, dude. That's awesome. That's a good first diamond to get. Yeah, we're almost at 4,000 total diamonds. That's that's every diamond combined that I've ever got, though. That's not just Fallow Deer. He in the front? He is. Okay. It's a hit, but that's not vitals. Or... Maybe? Liver? I don't know. Does that make the current 300 useless? No, it doesn't make it useless. It's still going to be a really good gun. Um, it's just that the 300 AR is going to be better. But the 300 bolt action is still going to be a solid rifle. And I mean, if you don't purchase the, uh, the DLC, then you'd still have a use for the bolt action one, obviously. So, no, it's not going to make it obsolete. Sawyer, thank you for the super chat, man. Once again, thank you so much. What is the best animal for the money? Ooh, I would say... Best animal for the money? Probably Rusadir, to be honest. Because Rusadir actually give a really high amount of money, and they have such a small home range that you can find all of them very quickly. Honestly, one of these days I need to do a full test on just how good Rusadir are. Because, like, the way that I've hunted them in the past, they're great. But, if I were to set up a full grind for Rusadir, I bet I could make money so quickly. Because Rusadir give, like, 1500 like 1700 cash per kill. And they are like super, super abundant and close together. So I bet they're insane. Stop using the 300 while grinding about three weeks ago. 303 is fine because the penetration, no ghost rounds or pen bugs, and an extra round in the mag. Kills fast on red deer or reds, bears, and obviously whitetail and fallow. Yeah, 303 is not bad. I've used it for our grind for a little bit. In fact, it wasn't that long ago that I used it. We were using it for a few different streams on the Fallow Deer, and yeah, it's pretty good. It's not bad at all. Calling Golden Typical Rack at 457 kills? Maybe, man. We're not that far away from 457, so I do hope you're right on that. Red Deer are great for money as well. They definitely are. They're definitely really, really good. I think Roos... The reason I said Roos Deer are what I would consider to be the best money for what animal you're shooting is because they're smaller than red deer, so they're easier to kill. And uh, they're, they're just more condensed into a smaller area. Because because uh, he was he was asking, like, you know, the best, the best money for what the animal is. Like, it's like, obviously, like, a lion's going to give a lot of money, but, I mean, it's a freaking lion. Rusa deer are a lot easier to obtain. And they give just as much money as a lion, pretty much. Man, I really want to test that out now. I really want to test that out. We should put up a Rusa deer grind at some point. Couple little fellers over there. I'm 4,200 into Fallow number 19. Holy crap, Danny. You're on your 19th Fallow grind? That's insane. I'm on my 12th right now. This is grind number 12 right here. Sheesh. Is there an update? There will be an update very soon. March 12th is the update for Call of the Wild. We're going to get a brand new weapon pack with some really good guns and a lot of quality of life fixes and stuff like that from what it sounds like. Jaxie didn't reveal, like, everything today in the stream. He said there was a lot of stuff that he couldn't reveal. But that we could expect a lot of, like, uh, bug fixes and stuff. 
And then he he showed us one of the bug fixes with that being like the accuracy for all the weapons. Because uh, as you guys may remember during one of our fallow grinds, we noticed that if you... If you're shooting at stuff, right? And you pay attention to it, it hits a little bit to the right of where you're aiming on a lot of shots. And so in today's stream, Jaxi showed that it's 100% accurate now. Like the uh, the rifles don't shoot slightly to the right anymore. <gasps> Ma'am, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Oh no. Yeah, I use Layton. I do use Layton for Whitetail. The thing is, Zachy, I don't have a problem seeing the deer. I, I don't know why you have a problem seeing the deer on Layton. You just have to know how to hunt them in the reeds. It's not too tough to do so, like, once you get used to how to hunt those types of zones. 7mm should be more powerful. I don't know. I feel like the 7mm is pretty good as is. I mean, it's one of the best 4 to 8 class weapons you can get. I don't necessarily think it needs to be moved at all. I, I think it's pretty good where it is. I think if anything, the 300 should be made a little bit less powerful than it is. Because in real life, you're not going to be shooting Cape Buffalo with a 300. Actually, I take that back. I don't necessarily think the power needs to be reduced. I think the classes need to be messed with. Like the uh, the class range of the 300 Magnum. That's more of what I mean by that. That might be a Diamond 4 right there. Oh, he stopped. No. Ah, uh, they always do that. Hate to see it. I mean, it didn't take me 30 minutes to do it, Zaggy. The latent grind for Whitetail is probably one of the easiest setups I've had. Of course, I might have just got really lucky with my... Ah. Uh... Oh, no. Oh, no. I shot the doe. Well, hopefully I didn't bork this zone. Oh, no. There's still two does alive. We should be fine. There's still two does in the zone. We should be good. Hopefully. How many great one whitetail? I think I have 32 or 33. It's one of those. I, I can't remember the exact number, but it's either 32 or 33. Man. Pro grind ruined forever. Confirmed. Definitely metal man. Definitely. <laughs> RIP the scarecrow's grind. I shot a doe. Nah, it's uh, it, it should be fine. We left two does alive, so we shouldn't lose this zone. No, I definitely don't have the most Whitetail Great Ones. I think I Buy Premiums has like 70 or 80 of them. Because he, he was grinding really hard for that typical rack. Which neither of us have still. He has 93 now? Jeez. Crazy. I'm assuming it's end of time. Yeah, 1314. Okay, we need to reset time once we get up here. Oh, nice, Caden. That's awesome. Congrats, dude. Okay, so what do you guys think about the fact that we're going to get speed loaders for revolvers? Like, if you use the revolvers in the game, how excited are you that we're going to get speed loaders? Because I think that is honestly like one of the greatest things that could have happened to handguns in the game. Speed loaders are honestly a pretty big deal if you ask me.
Speed loaders with lightning hands is going to be hilarious. True, that might be insane. Well, it depends on if it even affects them. I'm assuming it will. Is 357 better? Um. So yeah, he said the 357 got a rework. He didn't say the ammo did, though. So I don't think they touched the ammunition. At least from what he said, all he said is that they like reworked the visual look of the 357, which we could kind of see in the like uh what is it called? Like not not thumbnail, but I guess I guess it would technically be considered like a thumbnail pick. Like the tiny little pick uh or icon, the icon pick for the 357, it looked different. So I think they just redid the visuals of it. I don't think they changed the ammunition. Because I feel like they would have specified the ammunition if that was what got changed. But it seems like revolvers are going to be a lot more useful. Oh yeah, the single action the single action revolver definitely would not have a speed loader, loader because they can't, as far as I know. Gosh, I can't speak today. I need to slow down. I need to talk slower. I'm talking too quick. Great one this stream. Maybe be fishing. What pop filter do I have? I have the same one that comes with the Sure M or not MV7, the Sure SM7B. It comes with two pop filters. I have the like uh the thicker one on. I forgot the name of it. I just bought a replacement one. Let me go grab the replacement box and I can tell you the name of it. Okay, so this is what it's called. It's the A7WS Close Talk Pop Filter for the SM7, SM7A, SM7B microphones. So it's like a custom pop filter for this microphone and a couple others that are similar mics. It works incredibly, though. Like, my mouth is only like an inch away from the uh, from the microphone, and you don't hear any, like, harsh-sounding S's or popping sounds. Like, there's no plosives at all, which is really good. I'm impressed with how good it, like, cuts all that out. Ooh, nice, Sarah. That's awesome. That is super awesome. Hey, okay, those are nothing new. Did we even main menu? I don't think we did. Oh, gotcha, Cooper. Yeah, I would look into what type of pop filters will work with your microphone. Um, I did, I did used to use the ones that attach to the boom arm. The, what are they called? I think they're actually called, like, windscreens. I think that's what they're more referred to. And those ones are pretty good. I used it with my Shure SM or MV7. I used it with the MV7 because that one had a problem with uh, plosives even with the pop filter that came with that mic. So I had to get a second one for that one. And yeah, I would recommend that if you want to get... If you want to get like a different one that attaches to the boom arm... There's these like smaller ones that have like uh like a wire mesh over top of a normal like mesh. And with those ones, it seems to block out a lot more of the breathing and like popping and stuff like that. And the ones that I found are a lot smaller than the other ones as well, so it doesn't like take up as much room in front of your face. Amazon has a crap load of different pop filters. I usually just sort by like the highest rated ones and then find like a high rated one that's within my price range that has like the type of stuff that I'm looking for. Thank you, Zygris. I'm glad you like it. Big boy. Another big boy four. Man, finding some pretty big fours today, including that diamond we got earlier. Okay, there is some drink zone tracks here, so hopefully we didn't screw it up. I think it should be good. Question is, how many deer will be here? 
Ooh, there we go. That was kind of a risky shot to take because that doe was right behind him, but we actually managed to make it. I'll take that. Brock, thank you so much for the uh, super chat. Just uh, fallow today? Yes, it is probably just going to be fallow today. Unless we get bored of fallow and want to sw switch it up, then I'll do another poll. Okay, they're still there. Uh, we're missing a doe, though. We are missing a doe. And that is concerning because a lot of times if a doe goes missing, that means that it hasn't respawned. And if I shoot a couple more does, there's a chance that it takes a couple of my bucks and creates a new zone. So that makes me a little worried, but hopefully we'll be okay. Uh, Brock, thank you for the super chat once again. Sorry, I meant just fallow today. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I figured that that's what you meant. I figured that's what you had meant. But yeah, it's probably just going to be fallow today unless we get tired of fallow. One second, guys. I got to turn the AC up a little bit. PC starting to cook the room. Believe it or not, streaming really heats a PC up. <laughs> Any mail here? No. Where's our mail? Oof. Nice, enormous. Oh yeah, moose can be pretty rough, zombie. Moose can be quite difficult to deal with. Is it okay to have 12 shooting zones for a fallow grind? Uh, yeah. I mean, like, there's no specific number of what's good or bad. Kind of like whatever ends up working for you. Uh, as long as you have, like, 10 to 15 fallow to shoot, then it doesn't really matter what amount of zones you have as long as you can kill 10 to 15 fallow per run. That's the way I view it, at least. Your Hirsch zones are being weird. Ooh. Sounds like Hirschfelden, Zacky. Sounds like Hirschfelden to me, man. That's why I don't grind on Hirsch. There's just too many places they can be. How's the Bantang grind going? I haven't shot any Bantang since the last stream where we hunted them. So it's going about how it always was. How to get a great one calling it? Maybe. Maybe if you're lucky. Yeah, true, Johnny. I can see that. But I mean, with it being a 10 gauge, they kind of couldn't make it have six shots, right? Like that would just be, it would make every other shotgun completely obsolete in every way. But I can see why they didn't do that. Wait, you got your bear, Foxy? Wait, did I hear about that or not? I, I don't think I heard about that. Let's go. Brock, thank you for the super chat. What's your favorite map to grind the mule deer on? I've always really liked Rancho. I just feel like I have the most fun hunting mule deer on Rancho. But, like, I don't think there is a bad map for muleys. Like, all the maps that have mule deer are pretty good for them. I have quite a bit of fun on all of the maps that contain mule deer. Cooper over on the Twitch now. What's up? Nothing there. Do I like the 10 gauge or 12 gauge more? Uh, with what we currently have in the game, the 12 gauge pump for sure. The Cachatori is insane. Oh, yes, I don't know which one's going to be my favorite after this weapon pack releases though. Like once they release the weapon pack, I'll be able to 
you know, get my hands on the new shotgun and test it out a bit. But I think it's got a chance of being my favorite shotgun. It's going to depend on, like, how much of a difference those two shells make. Because with the Cacciatore 12 gauge pump, you get 12 or you get six shots. With the new 10 gauge, you get four shots. So you're going to have lots of extra power. Hopefully some extra range as well. However, you have two less shots than what the Cacciatore has. So it's hard to say. I'll have to try it before I'll really know. Five shots would have been the sweet spot. Maybe. Yeah, I can see five being pretty good. I am really glad that the uh, 300 has five shots. I kind of figured it would, but... There was a few people questioning whether or not it would have five or if it would only have three or what they were going to do with it. So it's good they went with five. I honestly think that 300 is going to be probably one of the most popular and loved rifles in the entire game just based on what we've seen. It seems like it's a monster. An absolute monster. Oh, I'm going to use the new 300 so much, man. Like, it, it's going to be probably my most used rifle of all time when all is said and done. I think I'm probably going to use it more than anything. Because, like, I already used the 300 bolt action for all my grinds. So, this thing is probably going to get used by me a lot. I think it'll definitely be my new favorite gun. Uh, one of the moderators or members can pop the Discord up in chat for you, uh, bee fishing. Yo, what's up, Merle? Yes, I'm hyped for the new update, 100%. I'm very hyped, especially after hearing some of the stuff that they said today in the live stream. That's a five. Let's go. If you haven't seen the, uh, the video I put up today, it details all the stuff they talked about. And I give, like, my full opinions on, like, every aspect of the update that they've uh, talked about, at least. It's pretty exciting stuff, man. Pretty exciting stuff. It sounds like we're going to get a lot of good additions to the game. Dime? Yeah, that's, that's a guaranteed diamond. That rack, like, never trolls. I don't think I've ever seen someone get one of those that trolled. Nine hundred on bears, rip Zacky. Ooh, that might be a diamond. Okay, so we lost a doe, but now we're always getting two males here. So, did one of the does just swap with a buck? It's possible one of these does swapped with one of our bucks, which would be interesting. But I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to it if we always get two males here. Two fifty-two. Let's go. There we go. Yeah, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, totally not. You're totally not. Hey, Scarecrow's Crash. So how's the Hunter God doing? Yeah, I can't wait for the new weapons coming out. Oh, dude, I'm doing great. I am doing amazing right now. Super, super excited for the new update. It looks like it's going to be insane. These new weapons are probably going to be pretty game changing. And I mean, the 4570 buff, I'm really interested to see. Oh, that's a <laughs> that is a diamond four. Holy, that's a diamond four. Wow, that's pretty big for a four too. Holy crap. That's actually kind of huge for this particular rack. I'm going to get a screenshot of that one. Because that's actually pretty big for this rack. 254 is not bad, man. Not bad at all. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, yeah, I'm quite a, I'm quite excited to see like what the 4570 buff is going to be. Now, from what Jaxie was saying, to me, it just sounds like it got extra range. It doesn't necessarily sound like they've buffed the damage at all. Although, maybe I just heard that wrong. Because he said that it was his, or he said it was the ballistics of the 4570 that got adjusted, right? Or did he say that it got an entire revamp? I can't, I can't fully remember. But for sure, it definitely has more range because that 
handgun had a 200 meter zero distance. I don't know. My guess is either they only increased the range and like its effective range or the build that Jaxie was playing on maybe just didn't have the buff implemented because yeah, from what I was seeing, it didn't seem like it dealt any more damage than it used to. But maybe Cape Buffalo were just not like a good thing to test that on. Now, I didn't watch the last... Well, I didn't watch, like, uh, probably 10 of the last 15 minutes. I stopped watching about 15 minutes before the end. Did some editing and stuff like that. And then I watched the last five minutes of the stream. So I only got to see him hunt the, uh, the Cape Buffalo. But today when I was watching Flinter's review on it, it looked like uh, Jaxie also hunted Bantang. At least uh, that's what Flinter was showing. So did he go for Banting before Cape Buffalo? He did? Okay. Yeah, I got I missed that part. Did he shoot any of them with the 4570? Ah, you def you definitely set that up, Zacky. You definitely had that bear. Before you said, oh, I hope this bear shows up soon. <laughs> Freaking Zacky, man. Congrats, though, dude. Good to see another one popping up. He only used the 300 on it? Got you. Did the did the new 300 just melt the Banting? I'm assuming that it did. I saw him shoot, like, two of them in Flinter's, in Flinter's review video. But... Uh, it, it looked like it was kind of just melting them. Like, it looks like it's not even going to be fair against them. Now we got another great one bear. Wait, today? Or are you talking about the one that was posted like a, a day or two ago? Because, yeah, she's been killing it with the bears recently. It was dropping the Bantang. Let's go. Ah, oh, man. I'm so excited. Do you know when the early access will be? Jaxi said it's going to be next weekend. So I'm assuming we'll be able to show stuff off next weekend. Usually they give it to us like a day or two before. So we'll see. It's sometime at the end of next week is all we really know. She got a Glacier today. Oh my gosh. She did get another one. Holy crap. How many kills was it? Because <laughs> Mel's been popping bears left and right. That shotgun looks so fun. It does. It does look like it's a lot of fun. Missing a zone there. Or not a zone. We're missing one of the herds. 300 and some kills. Holy crap. She's having those eye by length grinds. And kind of the length of the last few grinds I've had. So I doubt that the 300 will double lung Banting at 200 meters. He was at 50 meters for them. Got you. Okay. Well, either way, I'm excited to use it on them. Nothing there. Wow. Nice, Zacky. You messed up a rare elk? Ooh. Ouch. Sorry to hear that, man. How's it going, Colin? I'm feeling good, uh, Arwal, and I'm feeling good. My family's been doing good as well. I'm using the 300 on Fallow because it kills them faster, and when I'm grinding, all I care about is speed. If that's, like, one less animal I have to track, then, you know, that's... I'm all for it. So I always use the biggest gun that still has a pretty quick follow-up shot. And the 300's like really fast follow-up shots with really good power as well. There's our freaking deer, man.
get the other herd over here. Whoa, metal man. That is savage. Shot a diamond red deer and a female red deer mellow within five minutes of each other. Let's go, dude. That's awesome. Two more there. Jeez, four kills in that one zone. This is my favorite area. Like, these two river zones are so good. Nice, funny dog, man. Now, let's see. Two males. Oh, we got the we got the other female back. That's good. She returned to the same zone. So we didn't screw everything up, thankfully. Which is really nice. Look at that. You love to see it. And this is why, as you guys saw in the uh, video from yesterday, this is why I've got so many kills on my 300 Magnums. Because I use them for everything. And we just added six more kills to it. Just to these two zones. Just waiting for the day that Ibai gets an Ultra Rare. That would be pretty insane. I mean, if anybody's going to get an Ultra Rare, it'd be him. Because he definitely shoots the most Great One Whitetail. Big four. There we go. This could be a diamond four again. That one looked pretty good. True, true. He shoots the most legitimate whitetail, but I'm sure there's probably cheaters that shoot more. You're not wrong there. There probably is some cheaters that shoot more. How many great ones does I buy have? I think 156 or 157 or something like that. I mean, this man's Brian's like eight hours a day, every day, sometimes 36 hours straight. I don't understand how he's still breathing after all that. <laughs> Cause that is a long time to stream and he does that often. He does that super, super often. It's like he's trained his body to not need sleep. I used to be able to stay up for 36 hours straight, like, at least once a week. But, I mean, that was back when I was, like, 16, 17, 18 years old. How many kills? 462. Looks like we just got one. Yeah, just that one right there. Got my first time in Red Deer on Parquet today. Nice gold gamer. That's awesome. 999 kills into grind number four, fallow suck. <laughs> I'm sorry, metal man. You got this, dude. To be fair, 999 is not that bad. I mean, I've had a decent bit of grinds that were above a thousand. What's going on, Matthew? Yeah, the fishing streams don't have this many people in it. Yeah, it's because I built my channel off of hunting games, so not as many people that are interested in the hunting games are going to be interested in the fishing games. That's the thing about YouTube and honestly just streaming and content creation in general. If you build your audience off of one specific game or one specific genre, anytime you stray out of that genre, you're not going to have as many people watching unless you're just like 
someone who's generally just entertaining in whatever they do. Or just good at literally everything they play. Like, people like Shroud, they can play literally any game and they're just insane at it. Or like, if you're somebody like Asmongold, you're entertaining no matter what you're doing, so people are always going to watch. But yeah, if you, uh, if you build your channel off of one game or genre, it's pretty tough to break out of it. Working on getting my first great one, Fallow, currently at 868 kills and 11 diamonds. Not too bad, man. Hopefully you'll get your first great one soon. Hopefully your first great one will be right around the corner. Which is you. I don't know if I've completely boxed myself into one game. I mean, you guys do watch a lot of my Way of the Hunter content as well. So I am very grateful that you guys watch all the hunting games I play. Or at least like the majority of you do. And I'm very appreciative of that. That I've kind of been able to break out of the only Call of the Wild box. Because there's a lot of creators that can't do that. There's a lot of creators that don't have the, the privilege to be able to branch off into other games in their genre. So I'm very thankful that you guys, in a lot of cases, will watch a lot of the games that I play here on the channel. Thirteen hundred kills, two diamonds, and one rare, no great one. Jeez, that's rough, man. That's that's really low diamond and rare counts for twelve hundred kills, or thirteen hundred kills. That's rough. Sorry to hear that, dude. When did I get my first great one? I got my first great one like a week after the release of Rancho Del Arroyo. Uh, it's on the channel, actually. I think it's one of my most viewed videos on the channel, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. Watched more Way of the Hunter than Call of the Wild recently? Yeah, probably same to be honest. I don't really watch Call of the Wild, Call of the Wild content unless it's like new update content and I want to hear like everybody's opinion on it. But uh, Way of the Hunter, I do enjoy watching some Way of the Hunter content because it's like, it's easy to just like chill and relax and pop on a Way of the Hunter video while I'm editing or something. I mean, I still don't watch like Way of the Hunter videos as much as I do other types of YouTube videos, but I'll pop one on every once in a while. And I do find it quite uh, quite fun to watch. Way of the Hunter is becoming a really good game, man. Like, every update they've put out has improved the game. I can only imagine in, like, two years once they've added, you know, probably three, four, five new maps, a bunch of new rares. Ooh, that's a big boy five. Like, once they've added a bunch more stuff into the game, I really feel like it is going to have an increase in player count. I really feel like a lot more people are going to start playing the game. And honestly, I feel like one of the only things that's holding them back right now for Way of the Hunter, like the only thing that's really holding their growth back aside from lacking enough like rares and trophies for long-term replayability. Like aside from that, the thing that's hurting them the most is the fact that they're not on Xbox One or PlayStation 4. That hurts a lot because, oh, it's a 270. Holy crap, that's a 270. Oh my gosh. Wait, that was a 270 minimum estimate? Wait, what? How could... This goes to show how much I pay attention to estimates. For me, I look at the rack. If it's a diamond rack, then I know it's a diamond. If it's not a diamond rack, I know it's not a diamond. I didn't even look at the estimate. 270 is crazy. Oh my lord. That's insane. I'm going to have to like... Uh, make a YouTube short out of this and zoom in on the estimate because I missed it. I did not see the estimate. It was 270 to 311. Holy crap. That's insane. This is, this might be my best fallow deer diamond I've ever killed. It's, it's definitely one of the best ones I've ever killed. And according to my counter app, I've got 10,863 total fallow kills. This is probably the best one I've ever killed. 
This is insane, man. Oh, yeah, we're taxing him for sure. He's a 270. This bad boy's getting taxed. That's awesome. That's really awesome. And he's got kind of a cool little pose, too. Jeez. That's insane, man. That is actually crazy. That might be the wildest kill we've ever had for Fallow Deer. Aside from great ones and super rares, obviously. But like for a diamond, that's wild. One of the greatest diamond kills I've ever had for a Fallow Deer. Jeez, I, I still can't believe that. That's crazy. Oh, definitely, Cooper. Definitely. A 271 minimum red deer is wild. Of course, I was on my second account when you got him. Oh, man. Oh, man, Johnny. Man, oh, man. I still can't believe that. That's insane. They should add a 243 AR. I 100% agree. Uh, I saw somebody mention that in the EW stream today, and I do like that idea. 243 AR would be really cool. Oh, there he is. Yeah, that was a crazy, just absolutely crazy. Fallow deer, jeez. Oh no, green flames. That's rough, man. I've messed up a fair share of diamonds myself, though, so don't feel too bad, man. Yo, what's up, Murphy? We just got a 270 scoring diamond fallow deer. One of the best ones I've ever killed. Will I be playing the new Fortnite season when it comes out? I'm not sure. It depends on if CJO and Tony and them are going to play it. If they end up playing, I might play a little bit. Messed up a 237 axis here. Oh no, G Man. Oh no. Rough, my dude. Imagine if he was piebald and scored like Whitetail. <laughs> That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. I already answered you, Murphy. I said we just got a 270 diamond fallow. That's the only one there. 472 kills on the grind. Is it worth getting the ambusher pack? Um, is that the one that has the electronic collar? It's not one of my favorite DLCs they've ever released. I really... The only reason I would recommend getting it is for the 44 lever action because that thing's a powerhouse. It's a really fun rifle to use. Uh, sure, it's not going to be your most effective rifle at long range, but it is one of the most fun rifles I've used in the game. Like, it's a lot of fun. Do pieballs still score top of estimate? Uh, it depends on the species. Not for all of them. For some it does, but for others it doesn't. True, I could see the e-collar being good for duck hunting. True, true. It is quite nice for those. So I think they should add flintlock pistols to the game. I think they should at least add one of them. I wouldn't add more than one, but... Having one of them in the game would be kind of nice, just for variety's sake. Because there is a lot of people that like them. It's not something that would be a, a massively useful thing for me, but, you know, something that we have to remember is just because, like, myself and probably a lot of you in chat like the stuff that helps grinding be being added to the game or like stuff that you'll use for everything but there is a lot of people that want those 
more niche things like a flintlock pistol or like a, a crossbow handgun. Because those actually do exist. They do have handheld crossbows like, well, not handheld. You know what I mean? Like one-handed crossbows. I'd love to see those types of things get added just to add more variety into the game for the people that want to use those types of weapons. How do you think a 243 AR would look like? Probably very similar to the Zarza because there's not too much. I mean, unless they want to just really go crazy with like the hand guards and stuff like that and make them look fancy. It probably looks similar to the Zarzas, though. Yo, what's up, Austin? I hope you've been doing good, man. Yeah, all's been good for me, dude. I've been doing quite well now that I'm over the cold and stuff like that. We had a cold for a little bit, but I've been over it for probably close to a week now. So I've been doing a lot better. Only one male. Interesting. Oh, definitely, Johnny. For sure. That's a five. Guaranteed diamond estimate. I'm now looking at the estimates because I, I, I messed up on that last one and didn't look at the estimate. So now I feel like I have to check them. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Austin. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely not fun. And yeah, I did sound pretty bad for a little while there. Glad to be better. There's our five over here. Let's see this dude. 251. Scored really low on the estimate. That's fine, though. It's still a diamond. Austin, thank you for the 23 months as a member. Welcome back, man. Approaching that two year mark, and our tent is gone. Oh, you silly fallow deer. How dare you? How dare you, you big silly? Nice, Gold Gamer. What is the update? Oh, there is a lot of stuff coming with the update. There is a new weapon pack that has a lot of really nice guns in it. It's got a 300 AR. It's got a 10 gauge semi-automatic shotgun and a 4570 single shot handgun. As well as a bunch of quality of life changes that are coming with the update. If you want to see, like, the breakdown of everything, I would recommend checking out the uh, the YouTube channel, Braden, because I posted a video covering everything. Actually, uh, technically, three videos in the last few days, kind of, like, detailing everything they've revealed. That's a new one. Where on the map am I hunting? Currently, I'm hunting right here. Ooh, big boy five. 257 minimum estimate. He's pretty thick. I turned. Not the greatest shot. It's whatever, though. It's whatever, man. What map am I on? This is Tiawaroa. Have I killed an albino wolf? Yeah, I've killed a couple of them. Or maybe I've only killed one. 
Actually, do I even have an albino wolf? Maybe I don't have one. I might just have Mela. Yeah, actually, I think I just have Mela. I, I don't think I have an albino one. Now that I think about it more. Okay, where these fallow die? Did I mess up the, uh... Oh no, I did! I messed up the five! I messed up the five! Oh no! How have I been? I've been good. Yo, what's up, AE? Ah, uh, Bobby Hill, thank you for the super chat. Forgot to tell you last night, 3 a.m., baby Bobby was born. Oh, congrats, dude. Thank you for the super chat. Do we have anything else over here? Our dog just, like, he stopped. It's like he doesn't even care to track. Man, oh man. Hunter slacking. Hunter be slacking, brother. Broken dog. Yeah, he just, uh... Yeah, he doing dog things. I'm not even gonna question it. He's doing dog things. He's being a dog. And that fallow's being a messed up level 5. Ah... <sighs> Typical scarecrow aim. Ah, <laughs> yes, oh uh, Kraken, thank you so much for the... Or crap, that's the wrong thing. Kraken, how you doing? <laughs> no, we have not got any great ones today. My brain's all over the place today. Oh, it was a 260. Ripsky doodles. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, Ryan, you would be able to. You can use uh, Spring Creek or Sasiki Safari to put all animals in. I would recommend getting uh, Sasika. Is it Sasika or Sasiki? Which I think it's Sasika Safari. I would recommend getting Sasika Safari over Spring Creek just because there's a lot more room to put stuff in there. And there's a lot more full body platforms. Bruh, they got it out from my tents today. They're just taking them down left and right. Oof. At least it wasn't another 270 true crew. When will you do a video hunting crocs on the beach of Emerald Coast? Maybe sometime soon. I mean, I just hunted some crocs in yesterday's video. I mean, given that was in the mangroves, but still. Uh, what are you talking about, Wallen? Speaking of tents, we need more. For sure. For sure. I would like to see it increase to 20 instead of 15. Four hundred and eighty kills on the grind. What's up, Sam? What's up, Sam, with the diamond badge? Look at this absolute legend with the diamond badge. You went silent for a few seconds? Yes, because I'm human. Four hundred and eighty-one kills now. He's 
got my third great one, Whitetail. Nice, dude. That's awesome. With that diamond badge. That's what I'm saying, dude. He got the diamond badge. Sam looking snazzy, dude. He got that VVS, yeah. <laughs> the VVS diamond member badge. Love to see it. How many's here? I think three. Sam, thank you for the gifted membership. Congrats to Aiden Deer Hunter for getting that gifted. And Sam coming in with another gifted membership. Holy. Congrats to Liam Clark for getting that one. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Oh, Sam with another one. Hey, he's just he's just dropping them left and right. Congrats to Metal Man for getting that gifted. Holy crap, Sam. You're going absolutely buck wild. <laughs> I'll go home now. Don't worry, I won't be here all night. <laughs> with jokes like that. Holy crap, Johnny coming in with the 15 months as well. Let's go, Johnny. Thank you for the 15 months. I'm at 15 months, still a long ways from the diamond badge. Also, bears. I, I agree, Johnny. Bears for sure. <laughs> oh, man. Man, oh, man. I'm doing good, uh, shorty boy. I'm doing good. How long did it take you for or to set up all these fast travel spots? Uh, not that long. Probably like one day of hunting. To be fair, it was a... Ooh, that's a troll. To be fair, I set it up on like a 13-hour stream. I did a 13-hour stream when the Great One Fallow released, and I set everything up then. Now, obviously, I moved a few things here and there over time as I got rid of some zones and added new zones in. So if if you want to count all that time, it technically took like 10, not 10, but it technically took like, what, probably like seven or 8,000 kills. But that was just minute adjustments over the last, uh, the last uh, quite a long time, actually. We got most of the tents set up within the first day. Nothing there. They're being stubborn over here. Metal Man with the four months. Took me six months of watching to get a gifted, but I got one eventually. Merry Christmas. Let's go, Metal Man. You ended up getting one again. Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. You love to see it. Yeah, I remember for a while it just wasn't giving them to you. Like you went from getting a gifted almost every time that you didn't have one to then it just for some reason wasn't gifting them to you anymore. Juna with the three months. Welcome back. Hope you're doing great. Red Deer grind soon. I took my entire Red Deer grinding setup down, so probably not. Remember, I, I set it up for Banting and Kangaroo, so I, I'd have to start a brand new Red Deer grind. I'm doing good, Dark Soul. Uh, most people would consider that cheating, Shorty Boy, yeah. But at the end of the day, it's your game, so you can really do whatever you want with it. Just, I would be wary that people would consider that cheating, so. Anytime you take, like, trophies off of a modded server, most people would consider that cheating. Yo, what's up, Kevin? I've always just got them true, Cooper. You always get really lucky with the uh, gifted memberships. For sure. Rocks World, thank you for the super chat. Once again, much appreciated. Hope you're doing great. What gun did I use in the Rue video? I used a few different guns in the, in the Rue video. I think the first one I used the 303. 
Then I ended up using... I believe the 308 and the 300. Yeah, I've used three different uh, guns for the kangaroos in those videos. Okay, that's the new one. I think I'm three months away from the gold badge. Let's go, Cooper. I got a gifted sub on Big Rig's channel, and that's about it for my random luck. Hey, that's still cool, though. Nate's pretty chill, so that's a good membership to get. That, too, is puny, but uh, he's also dead, so, you know, it is what it is. Good night, little fallow deer. Oh yeah, Sam. I mean, there are a lot of people that are that are excited for it. And I do think it's going to have a place, right? I I do feel like it will be a useful gun in certain scenarios. Like if you want to go with an ultra lightweight loadout, you could go 4570 243 handgun or 4570 handgun, 243 handgun and 22 handgun and literally you'd be able to carry like tents and tripods with you. Like it's going to be fantastic for setting up new maps. Like, it's going to be so good for that. Yeah, I think a lot of people associate him with being a Call of the Wild YouTuber, though, Metal Man, because that's his primary game, and it's the game that's the most popular on his channel. So I think a lot of people would consider Rooster a Call of the Wild YouTuber. But yes, he does play a lot of other games, and he does like playing the other games um, more in a lot of cases as well. But I think a lot of people consider him a Call of the Wild YouTuber because it's uh, it's his most popular content. I mean, for a while, Fooster was considered to be a Call of the Wild YouTuber until he started like getting popular for other games as well. But when he was in like the earlier days of his channel, like he played a lot of The Forest and Call of the Wild. I think, honestly, he started as a forest YouTuber. Then he moved on to be kind of like a Call of the Wild YouTuber. And then nowadays he just does everything and it's always amazing no matter what he does. Fooster's great. He's probably one of my favorite, uh, favorite content creators for like discovering new games and just seeing a really immersing experience in like every single video. What is Forest? Oh, The Forest. It was a uh, survival game that came out quite a while ago. The prequel to Sons of the Forest. Yep, true, Johnny. 308 Pistol actually would not have been bad either. I do think people would have complained that that's another 308, though. I think that would have been the only complaint there is that some people would be like, oh, a third 308? Did we really need that? I wouldn't have minded it, but I don't know. I I think I'm happy with what we ended up getting. I think I'm content with the uh, three different guns they put in here. Would I have liked three different ARs again? Sure. I, I probably would have much preferred that, but I'm okay with what we got. Oz, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. What was the animal that created the infamous reaction when a super chat pops up? Oh, that was a drop tine white tail deer. Like a drop tine great one white tail is what made me react like that because we switched off of an early access build to go grind white tail and we ended up getting it that night. And so it was just like, it was such a shocking moment that it just made me have an insane reaction like that. Because not only was it one of my favorite racks, the drop tine rack, but it, it popped up at like the most perfect time. It was such a, a crazy, crazy timing moment. And yeah, that's where we got that reaction from. It, yep, that reaction right there. That one. <laughs> uh, Good times, man. Honestly, I feel like some of my fondest memories of what I've done here on the channel 
is when we were first getting into herd management with Whitetail, like that was some of my favorite times on the channel. We were doing like six to eight hour streams pretty much every day, grinding Whitetail. We were popping great ones almost every day at times and getting, you know, anywhere from one to three great ones a week. It was a crazy time. It was a really crazy time. My dream rack for Whitetail is the drop time. It's such a good one, man. Like, it just looks so nice. I feel like the Whitetail deer have some of the best racks of any great one. Like, uh, obviously, they don't have the best fur types because they really only have Fabled Piebald. And in comparison to, like, all the moose furs and bear furs, like, Fabled Piebald doesn't look as good. It's incredibly rare, which is why people want it, but... It's not as nice looking as like a, a fabled two-tone moose or like a fabled birch moose. But I definitely think the whitetail have the best antlers of any great one. They may not be the biggest because obviously like red deer antlers and moose antlers are just naturally bigger. But I definitely think they're my favorite racks of any great one. Juna, thank you so much for the super chat. I just have to hear the scream. Oh, man. You guys are just get, doing it for the alerts now. <sighs> Holy. Thank you so much for the super chat, man. Uh, yes, I'm on YouTube and Twitch right now, Dark Soul. I just want a Fable Spruce with the typical rack for Moose. Ooh, that would be such a good combo. That's a combo I would love to get. <laughs> Oh, for sure, Miz, for sure. <laughs> 491 on the kill count now. Uh, I'll be right back, guys. Give me two seconds. I got to go grab something real quick.
I'm back, my dudes. Hope you're doing good. See, the ducks have arrived. Ah, uh, yes, I was AFK. I had to head downstairs real quick to say hi to my wife and daughter because they just got home from hanging out with her mom. One ninety-eight. Let's go. Your cat scared you. Oof. <laughs> Oof, man. Max, thank you for the super sticker, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, it's a, oh my gosh. Much appreciated, my dude. Two down. Might be another herd, though. That was a lot of does, so maybe that was both of them. There was only two shootables. But usually we have four bucks here. Like, minimum three. But usually four. We'll do one more reset. If he's not there, it was probably both herds. No great ones today, Chief. No great ones today, sadly. Been a little bit since we've had a great one pop up. Ooh, I almost just like quickly shot. He's behind her. That could have ended poorly. That dude's right behind her. Got him. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. The great one counter is very funny. Oh, it's great, Necron. It's fantastic. And to make it even better, our 69th great one was a fabled chestnut bear. Like, it can't get any better than that, man. It can't get any better than that. It was like when I went into that grind, I had a 33% chance of getting a bear fur type that would be hilarious as our 69th great one. And we ended up hitting the 33 percenter. It, we could have got that or the fabled cream to make the meme work. What button is auto run on PC? I rebound mine. So my auto run is Q, but most people have auto run as F, I believe. Maybe. I think it's F by default. Got a whopping zero. Oof, let's go, dude. Let's go. Yo, what's up, Cruz? Holy crap, it's been so long since I've seen that name. It has been a while since I've seen that name in chat. What's up, man? Wait, weren't you weren't you like one of my OG OG viewers? Like back when this channel was first getting started. I, I feel like I recognize your name from a long, long time ago. And yeah, the, the streams have grown quite a bit, man. Today's actually kind of a, a low viewership day. Norm Oh, you were Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I definitely do remember you. Yeah, a lot of the streams nowadays we have between, like, 280 and 400. Um, on updates, it's a lot more as well. But, yeah, the channel has grown so much, man. It's been kind of a wild thing to be a part of. It's good to see you again, though. Hopefully you've been doing good. How's the hunting going? It's going good. Uh, how, how house is house zigzag four twenty? What a name! It's uh, it's going good, man. Nine great ones for you. Nice, snappy. Love to see it. And yeah, I don't blame you for not wanting to go for bears. They can be kind of tough to get into.
<laughs> you have zero, but you somehow have more than Brober, Sam. <laughs> is it is it because Brober's got like ne negative a million because that D that WD forty conversation that <laughs> just loses all all respect from that? <laughs> oh man, how long do I think till my one hundredth great one? Uh, it depends on if they release a new great one anytime soon, because like. I don't grind the great ones as hard as I used to because it's been so long since we've had a new one. Like whenever we get a new great one added, you can bet that I'm going to be grinding like 10 hours a day. And so at that point, we might be able to push to 100 great ones pretty quickly. But right now, I'm really only doing like a couple hours of great one grinding per day. And it's not even like every single day. It's like maybe four or five days a week. And, you know, if we do a stream where I don't grind great ones, then... You know, take two hours off of that. I'm not really doing a ton of great one grinding right now. Kind of just waiting for a new great one. We badly need a new great one to, to get me super, super interested in grinding great ones again. Or at least interested to the point that I was before. I still love grinding for them. Just taking it easy so I don't burn myself out before we end up getting a new one. What's up, Nate? How's it going? I, I have not been able to check because I sent it before the stream, but... Uh, did you say anything about about Fishing Planet, uh, Nate? I don't know if you responded to my message or not. But I, I was I was curious what you meant about ex about the game being expensive. Were you talking about all the DLCs? Because I don't think you ever responded to that. Because, yeah, they do have a lot of DLC. But you really only need one of them, the Congo one. And that basically just gives you the means to level all the way up. Nothing's at the zones. That's rough. So glad I missed the WD-40 convo. I think I fell asleep right before it going based off the conversation I remember. You might have, man. I think I asked if it was expensive. Oh. Maybe maybe that is what you meant. But the, the message said like, geez, this is expensive. Or geez, this game is expensive. Or something like that. So I was like, Oh, holy crap. I think I remember. I think I know what you were responding to, Nate. I think the first message was to the video that I sent you. And then your follow up was asking if the game was expensive. That's pr that that's probably what you meant. That's my bad. Uh, fishing plan is completely free, so it's not expensive. Um, but if you want to get gear faster or like level up faster, you can buy the DLCs. So it's really as expensive as you want to make it. Like, you really only have to spend, like, 30 bucks on Fishing Planet in order to unlock a location for a week that's going to earn you so much XP and money and level you up so quickly, and you'll basically never need money again after fishing there. So I don't think you really need to spend too much money on it, thankfully. But I, I definitely think that you would enjoy hopping into it Johnny's been playing it with me this morning. Um, I saw Flanky accepted my uh, club request on Fishing Plant, so I think Flanky's popped on it recently too. So it could be quite fun, especially with that uh, saltwater update coming out. Like, uh, we're going to want to level up so we can play that because it's going to be a very high-level location. Oh, ma'am. No, no, I'm so tired of shooting does by accident. Oh, no. Oh, nice, Chief. That's awesome, man. That's good to hear. Basically, fishing plan equals don't buy everything, just buy what you need. Exactly. Exactly. Like with fishing planet, you don't need to buy every single DLC to be the best. You just need to buy the Kong, one of the DLCs that gives an access pass to the Congo and like some of the fishing rods. I think I just bought the Wild Africa pack and off of just that. I gained like 13 levels. I went from like level 45 up to level 60. That's like 15 levels actually. Yeah, I gained like 15 levels just from fishing there for a week. Like maybe two to five hours a day. Is Fishing Planet cross-platform? I can't remember. I th I'm going to go with a strong maybe. I can't remember. I think it might be.
Oh, it's floating. No. Ooh, nice, Nate. Nice. I also think I have a way to get uh, Crown Black Cherry before Nate, unless he has it already. Oh, he already got it, man. He already got it. Old disc dude hooked him up. The absolute legend. Old disc dude. I know where he's cruise. If they were to add a great one, which animal would you like? My personal great one I want to see added is a saltwater crocodile. So for me, my number one pick is some type of elk. I don't care if it's a Rocky Mountain elk or a Roosevelt elk. Either one I would love. The other one that I would really, really like is mule deer, black-tailed deer, Cape buffalo, or lion. Like, those are my top ones. I also wouldn't mind Rusa Deer and Sika Deer. Those are like some underrated picks though. Like not many people ever talk about them, but I'd love to see them. I think they'd be cool. I'm completely messing up my rotation right now because I'm reading chat so much. I can't even remember where I've been. What zones have I hunted this rotation? Okay, there we go. I think we're back on track because this is unhunted. There we go. 502 kills on the grind. Let's go. Any new seven day grinds anytime soon. I don't have any planned as of now, but that actually is a good point. I need to do another one soon. I definitely need to do another one soon. Because from what I've seen, like you guys really love the seven day grind stuff. Like, the seven-day grind videos are always some of my best performing videos, and I really enjoy making them, so I definitely need to get into doing some more of them. But I think, like, leading up to the release of this weapon pack, I've kind of just been doing some more chill streams. Not, like, trying to force myself to go super heavy on the grinding. So what we might do is when this DLC releases, we might kick back up the uh, seven day grind series using the new 300. I think that'll be a good way to do it. What did you miss? You didn't miss too much, uh, R. Wallen. Did not miss much at all. That's a four. Got him. What's up, Rock Chalk? How's it going? Oh, definitely, Jaden. I think it'd be really nice. I think it'd be a solid option. 219 ain't too bad. I think you should do colored peccary. The leucistics are so cool. Plus, you don't have a dime. Maybe. The only problem is I don't know if I could grind colored peccary for an entire week without getting bored. Um, I mean, after just a couple hunts of them, I wanted to hunt something else. But I don't know if I could do a seven-day grind for colored peccary and actually enjoy it the whole time. I like doing the seven-day grinds primarily on great ones because I feel like it's more exciting. But... Uh, we'll see. We'll see. You know what they say, never say never. Uh, however, I'm never going to claim that uh, deer because it's barely hit and running away. So I guess that is the one case where I will say never. Is I'm never claiming that deer. No, I don't think moose are going to get reset in the update. The thing that... The thing about whenever they update like populations of animals it's only if it's necessary like if they're changing something with that animal they're not changing anything with moose so at least not as we know we don't know of any changes with moose 
But they haven't revealed everything with the update yet, I don't think, so... Who knows? But I, I highly doubt anything will happen to Moose. I can't remember, did they say if there's going to be resets for the animals that get a class change? Yo, what's up, Andrew? How's it going? To do a seven-day grind for Gemsbach or Wildebeest? Uh, maybe. That is a possibility. Like I said, I'll probably wait till after the update hits to do that, though. One more down. What great one fallow deer rack and fur do you want? I think my most wanted is probably typical rack fabled mocha. That's been my most wanted for like three or four grinds now. Because I've already got the fabled mocha blade rack. So fabled mocha typical is my next one on the list. Um, so far, we haven't had any luck with that. The last, like, three of them or so have been... Actually, even more than that. Probably the last, like, four or five have all been other combos. Maybe one of these days we'll finally get it. He's hit, but he's not going to die. Definitely not dying. I see antlers. Hey, buddy. Boop. Boop. Can't wait for the weapon pack. Me too, man. It's going to be so good. Oh, they confirmed that Bobcats are class two. I didn't hear Jaxi say like what uh, class they were. I just heard him say that they were getting a class change. I, I must have overlooked it when I was watching. Class two, eh? That's probably better. Yeah, it's probably better. Oh, seven day moose. I do really like doing the seven day moose grinds. I feel like they're my favorite seven day grinds to do. Partially because there's still so many moose combos that I want. I want the 300 AR the most. Me too, man. That thing is going to be nasty. That thing is going to be probably the best gun in the entire game. I believe so, Blue. Yeah, I don't think that it's just, just going to be one or the other. I think it's going to be both. You should do the seven-day lion grind. Possibly. It's a possibility. Like I said, we'll figure out what the next seven-day grind will be whenever I decide to start it. Okay, that's a new one there. One seventeen to one fifty eight is not the score that was there before. It was that eighty four. I've seen all of these fallow deer that I'm stacking so many times that like I remember which ones are solos not to shoot, like just based off their score estimates. Like this guy has a one twenty nine estimate that we're stacking there. This guy has an eighty four as the minimum. Oh, yeah, Foxy. Hey, nothing wrong with that, Foxy. Nothing wrong with that. I'm glad I can make you happy, uh, Dazzling Bank. That's uh, that's awesome, man. Glad you like the content. I 99% of the time small game, but I don't like the 10-gauge, so pump action is still my favorite. Gotcha. Okay. 
I am really curious to see what the performance of the 10 gauge semi is going to be in comparison to the, the Cacciatore. I think they're both going to be pretty good. Uh, definitely not Zygrets, no. Because uh, if you if you stack a diamond in an exterior zone, then whenever you get done herd managing everything, right, you're going to have to go back and shoot that three. And then you're going to have a shootable in your exterior zone. So I wouldn't recommend stacking in your exterior zones. I would only stack in your main zones. Otherwise, it just gets like annoying to shoot that last one down, you know? Is it slow and boring for me? Any suggestion on how to make more interesting and fun? I mean, you could try doing a grind like I'm doing. This is one of the ways that I keep the game from getting boring. Like, when you've got all these setups like this, it's a lot more fast-paced. What's up, Doan? How you doing? How's it going, Doan? Hey, that rhymed. Got two diamond whitetail trying to find my zones for a grind. Let's go, Oliver. Let's go, dude. That? Okay, no, that's the one that we leave. That is definitely the one that we leave. Hey, Jacqueline, how's it going? Yeah, I was, I was hanging out in the EW stream today, checking out all the new stuff, taking notes and all that. Seeing how things were with the update. Pretty exciting. All right, what do you what do you guys say that for the last like 20 to 40 minutes of the stream we go for some kangaroos? Because kangaroos are the second most popular on the vote right now. Because I, I want to go hunt something different. I'll put it up to a poll. I'll put up a poll. There we go. There's the poll. Let me know what you guys want to see me hunt now. Get your votes in, my dudes. Get your votes in. I should probably put this poll up on Twitch as well, now that I'm thinking of it. Sorry, Twitch, I promise I'm not forgetting you. There we go. Pulls up on both platforms now. Not influencing the most. Definitely not, Johnny. You're definitely not. Yeah, kangaroos are absolutely demolishing everything else right now. <laughs> Let's see what's winning on Twitch. So, kangaroo has three votes. Banting has four votes. But on YouTube, kangaroo has 46% of the 90 votes. I think it's kangaroos. I think kangaroos win. Yeah, I don't I don't think any of the others can come back. Kangaroos are so far ahead on YouTube that there's just there's so many votes dumped into kangaroos. I th I think it's a kangaroo hunt time. I do love me some kangaroo. So, can't complain, man.
What's my favorite diamond? Probably the Rusadir. I think they look incredible. Uh, specifically, the Big Rack Rusadir. Big Rack Rusadir looks good, man. Kangaroo for prison. <laughs> okay, Johnny. Oh, man. Okay, this is my kangaroo loadout. That's right. This is my Bantang zones. Let's go to the kangaroos. Here's our first zone right there. How long is the typical Red Deer Great One grind? For me personally, they're always like around 3,000 kills, but I have had some shorter than 3,000. There's a five and a seven. Well, two down. Let me pull up my kill counter for kangaroos on my phone real quick. With those two kills, we're 111 kills into this grind. Third zone has a nine legendary in it. Imagine if you call that, Judah. That'd be crazy. What my favorite black bear or great one is? The fabled chestnut. Easy. Oh, nice, Carol. Nice. That's awesome. What's the goal for this grind? Uh, to get a few rares. That's pretty much it. Just get a few rares and I'll be happy. What grind am I doing now? We're going for the kangaroos because the vote on YouTube was 42% kangaroos. Uh, and there was only four votes for Bantang and three votes for kangaroo on the uh, Twitch. So overall, the YouTube poll for kangaroos winning just absolutely demolished everything. So we're going to be taking down some kangaroos, seeing what we can get. Um, where do I got to look again? Right there. Okay, over there. Ah, uh, this isn't a great angle, but it's the best. Oh, ah! <laughs> Who called the nine legendary? I mean, this isn't third zone. This is second zone, but holy, there's a nine. Let's go. Which one do you call that? I'm so glad you guys voted for kangaroos. The estimate is not a guaranteed diamond, though. So this could troll. And I'm going to try and get closer because I don't like that angle. Let's freaking go, man. It was Juna? Juna, you called it. One zone off, but you basically called it. Oh my gosh. Look at that beauty. Yeah, one off again. Good chance for dime. Yeah, it does have a pretty solid estimate. Definitely not guaranteed, but solid estimate. This is my fourth level nine out of 111 kills. And only one of them has made diamond so far. So hopefully this will make it as well. If this guy makes it, that'll be a 50-50 diamond rate for level nines that I've found. Have you missed anything? Uh, nothing too crazy, Wild Bill. Cold. Don't jinx me, Zacky. Don't jinx me. Hit him with the spine move. Hey, I don't, I'm not going to purposely spine shot him, you know. I mean, if if it happens, it happens. But I ain't purposely going for it. Uh-oh. Look up, look up, look up, look up. Are you joke? What? That makes no sense. <laughs> I was crouched at 111 meters and the wind isn't even blowing at them. The wind is like, it ends right there. That's the edge of the wind. What? That makes no sense. That makes absolutely no sense. Dang invisible crocodiles. Something like that, Johnny. I don't know what to call that. That was interesting. What direction are they again? There they are. All right, second time is the charm, maybe? Okay. 
No way. Okay, something actually is... Something else is spooking them. This is not me. Right? There's no way this is me spooking them. Right? I, I don't think so. Uh, because we stopped doing fallow and kangaroos won the vote for the new animal, Hostetler. One sixty five. Oh, I don't like how he's moving. That angle sucks. That is a bad angle. It's always really tough to get a good shot on these. Okay, maybe kangaroos are just very spooky. Like, maybe they just spook super easy. Invalid target, probably. That's why we're making the dog lay down. Um, for my personal experience, King Julian, I would say moose grinds are typically 500 to 1500 kills, but it's not uncommon for them to go past 2000 either. There's a ghost? Probably, man. Probably just a, a ghost screwing with us. One thirty-four. Got him. Got him. We got him. Oh my gosh. Stocking up on kangaroos is tough. These things spook so easily. That's crazy. All right, for, uh, for any of the moderators that are still watching the stream, um, Ostetler redeemed a mod poll on Twitch. So one of the moderators choose what the poll is going to be. What does it mean? Oh, so a mod poll essentially is uh, you spend your points to let my moderators choose a poll for me. So essentially they can make the poll whatever they want. It, it can be literally anything. Let's see. What do you guys think? Is it going to make it or not? Diamond, gold. What do you think? What do you guys think this is going to be? I'm going to say it's going to be a troll because that has been the track record of kangaroos and me is mainly trolls. So my prediction is troll. A lot of you are saying diamond in the chat though. Let's see. Are you guys right? Oh my gosh, you guys guessed it right. It's a diamond. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my gosh, I did not expect that to make it. I get trolled so much with kangaroos. I didn't think this was going to come anywhere close. I thought it was going to be like 478 or something, you know. Let's go. That's awesome. We got ourselves a diamond roo. Not a bad day, man. Not a bad day. We've had a solid day of hunting. We got a 270 diamond fallow. And now we got ourselves another diamond kangaroo. Let's freaking go. So now let's bounce to the next zone. Ooh, that's a lot of pressure. Maybe I should skip that zone this run and go to this one. I think that's the move. Um, I might, Zadimus. I might. But I'm kind of waiting for some rares. I'm kind of waiting for rares to like give up a, a full body platform because like my main lodge already has a lot of full body platforms of like different mounts that I don't necessarily want to remove. So in order to justify removing one of my existing mounts, I'd have to get a couple of rare kangaroos, I think. There we go. Well, that's sick. We got two diamond kangaroos and 112 kills. And two trolls, of course. Um. Uh, Johnny. Since you're the only moderator in chat, what do you want the poll to be on Twitch? Because uh, Hostetler has redeemed moderator poll. So, what do you want the poll to be? 
You're the only moderator that's here in chat at the moment, so you get to choose what the poll is going to be on Twitch. It can be anything as long as it's not like too over the line, obviously. Like nothing that involves like personal information about me or anything. How many great ones do I have? Currently 69 of them. Yo, what's up, Statler? How's it going? How you doing, my dude? Is it just the level six here this time? I think it might be. <laughs> okay, I like that one. I like that one, Johnny. That, that's pretty good. Uh, Johnny actually came up with a pretty awesome poll idea. Crap, maybe I'll do it on YouTube and Twitch. You, you guys are getting a twofer, okay? I'm doing it on YouTube and Twitch. Why isn't it? It won't let me create a poll. Let me refresh the page. Okay, now it's letting me. Now it's letting me. You guys are going to love this poll. Johnny came up with a banger. Boom. <laughs> and now let's let's get the same pull over on YouTube. Let me end the existing poll on YouTube and pop this one up. There you go. Some of you may not get this uh, this joke, but believe me, it's funny. If you didn't know, Brobra is a friend of mine that also does content, and he he used WD forty to try and get a turd off the back of his toilet, and so we we've always joked about him doing that and made fun of him for it. So that's the joke behind this poll that Johnny wanted to put up. If you haven't seen it, check out uh, Big Rig's video on that Tackle Tuesday because holy crap, it was hilarious. It was the funniest thing ever. It was absolutely hilarious. Mm, okay, I'm already learning that this is terrible placement. I need to move this. Okay, Johnny, for sure. So far, Brober WD-40 is winning. And I don't blame you guys, because that is a lot funnier than Scarecrow Toilet Paper. For sure. Now, just think of it this way. You know, there's going to be, like, a Brobra channel logo on the WD-40, and there's going to be, like, a Scarecrow logo on every single... Uh, Square of toilet paper. Every single one of them. Aggressive. <laughs> you evil little thing. Why are you aggressive, bro? <laughs> was the nine root a dime? It was, man. It was a diamond. It did make dime. Pretty sick. I think this is going to be a better angle right here. So Brobra WD40 is ahead 57 to 44 on YouTube. And what about Twitch? 
Twitch, it's Scarecrow Toilet Paper, 91%. 10 votes for that, one vote for Brober WD40. Wow. The Twitch viewers and the YouTube viewers are having very different opinions on this. <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's kind of wild. That's pretty wild, man. Oh, this is so much better already. Yeah, this angle is 10 times better, man. There's all females there, though. There's no males at all. I feel like I might need one more kangaroo zone to really get them to respawn properly. Might need to back up here. Yep. Gotta back up more. Yeah, nothing too major, though. Nothing too crazy. Do the new retrievers affect goose hunting? Uh, yeah, they're good for retrieving goose. Or geese. I don't do a lot of bird hunting, so... I don't have too many, or like, too strong of an opinion on the retrievers, so... But yeah, from when I use them, they're good for all birds. Well, it wouldn't be my face, you it'd be my logo on it, you know? <laughs> and this is a completely, like, hypothetical situation. I would never make toilet paper as a merch item. It just would not happen. Mythical? Okay. That was three more. Welcome back, Johnny. Does shooting single zones and hurts together for red deer affect your grind? I mean, it, it really depends on what you mean by affect your grind, right? Like, there's a lot of ways that could be... There's a lot, way, a lot of different ways that that could be taken, right? Because technically, everything you do affects your grind, right? But it's whether or not it affects it in a positive, negative, or neutral way. New viewer here, brand new to Call of the Wild as well, and I have to say your content's amazing, helping me learn more about the game. Do you have any quick early game tips uh, for my fiance and I? I would say biggest tip I can give to anybody that's starting out in the game is hunt near water. Hunt the drink zones of animals because you will find a lot more animals by hunting uh, around water. Uh, like right here, I'm hunting kangaroos in their drink zones, and it's really easy to find where they are because you know it's going to be around water. Whereas for like a feeding zone or a resting zone, like they could just be anywhere. But a, a, a drinking zone is always going to be at water. So I would recommend hunting near water as much as you can. You will find a lot more animals doing it that way. And if you haven't already, check out some of my beginner's guides. Because I got a lot of like beginner's guides. I got a full beginner's guide series. So I would definitely recommend checking some of those out. A crappy job, but somebody has to do it. <laughs> yeah, did. What's up, Caden? I'm doing good. Yeah, no problem, man. Always happy to help. I messed up the eight. Oof. Oh, well. It is what it is. Thank you, Kahuna. Appreciate it. Oh, for sure, Johnny. He has some of the best moments in existence. We love old Brober here. No males. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it for the stream, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this stream here. This has been a really fun one. We got ourselves a diamond kangaroo, as well as one of our biggest diamond fallow deer ever as a 270.49. Really appreciate you guys dropping in for this. It's been a fun one. We'll be back with another stream soon. Peace, 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 peace.